Arsenal is back in the title race. The Premier League trophy is coming to the Emirates this season. Just you wait and see. That game against Wolves was not the most entertaining game. I'll give that to you. It really was not. But we got the job done. That's all Arsenal needed because when you're not playing well, you just need to get over the line. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even happy about that going into the game, only winning 1-0. Because 1-0 is too shaky, especially in the last moments, you know what I'm saying? So the fact we got that second goal to shore things up made me a lot more relaxed and a lot more happy. But the main culprit yesterday was Arteta once again. Playing Kai Havertz in the midfield doesn't work. We've seen this for like six, seven, eight games before we put him up front. He's been fantastic up front. He's not a massive goal machine, but like he's been excellent up front. First leg against Bayern, up front, Bayern had so many problems. Second leg against Bayern, put him in midfield. Bayern's back line, they could have went on holiday during that game. It wouldn't have mattered because nothing, they had nothing to worry about. Honestly, I think Jesus has regressed at Arsenal. The guy has really regressed at Arsenal because last season he had at least nine goals or something in the league. Now I don't think he's even got six Premier League goals. He's definitely not good enough. We know he's not a goal machine, but minimum 10 goals if you're paying 45 million for you, man. Minimum. And Arteta needs to rest Saka. Oh my days. Why is this guy still on this pitch at this time? Like, take this guy off in like the 60th minute. 60th minute. We're already in the lead. And it's Wolves. No offense to Wolves. It's not like it's Man City or something. He needs to get back to managing this guy better because he was doing it a bit better. But now he's falling to the old Ateta where he thinks Saka is like Lionel Messi and he can make things happen even when he's fully not fit. Next season, Ateta needs to get a backup winger that can really compete with Saka and make Saka sweat. Because this is not good enough, man. This is really, really not good enough. If we want to be a team established and winning these kind of big trophies, we have to get the squad depth. And not just anybody, but people that can really challenge players, man. And a lot of the time yesterday, I saw the ball getting crossed in the middle. Time after time after time, and nobody was there. With a proper striker on the pitch, that's like four goals that we could have scored yesterday. And it's not just yesterday. It happens all the time. So... If Arsenal really don't get a striker next season, I know that we don't want to win anything. A striker is needed. There's so many options that we can take. We don't have to spend crazy money. One guy that looked very shaky yesterday was Jakub Kivio. I don't know what happened to him since that buying game where he got absolutely roasted by Leroy Sané, but he almost let in Wolves to score a goal. If it wasn't for David Raya and his fingertips would have been a goal down. He kind of recovered closer to the end of the game, but it's not the guy that we've been used to seeing. It's like the old KV or the one that was struggling. Mind you, he's not a left back. He's a centre back. We know that. But he's done really well recently at left back and hopefully he gets back to his best because the way things are looking, you're in Timber, he might play like the last two games of the season coming off the bench or something. He's not going to make a huge impact for us. I really truly believe that if you're in Timber was fully fit all season, our season would have been completely different. Especially that buying game, how Leroy Sané was getting in and behind on all that. He would not be doing that rubbish against Timber. He would not be allowed that freedom against Timber. As always, I've been Ball One. Here I talk about nothing but football. The subscribe button is here or there. Drop your boy a subscribe and I promise you won't be disappointed. Ball One, out.